Welcome to ABL Hot Corner, and tonight we've got a special guest, Stephen Mintz, the manager of the Adelaide Bite. Stephen, welcome to ABL Hot Corner. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you having us on. It's fantastic having you on. Obviously, uh, it's been a massive year for the Bite. You've come over, in fact, you were here back in 92, 93 with the Adelaide Giants back then. So just over 20 years and you're back in, in the championship. It is, I tell you, uh, that's a long time, 23 years ago, uh, coming back uh, here to the Bite and just to Adelaide and the, the fans and everybody here and the passion that there still is and that has grown, you know, over the 23 years for the baseball here. And um, it's just been a super exciting time for me. I've had the time of my life over the last three and a half months. And now us being in the in the final uh, series is uh, just, it's, it's been a dream come true for me to come back and do this. Fantastic. So what was the impetus? How did it, how did you get back here? Was it uh, Davo gave you a call or how did that all sort of come about? Well, actually it was just a uh, happen so email and uh, Davo sent me an email and wanted to know if I knew anybody that was interested in coming over here and managing. And <laughs> I sent him an email back immediately and I said, yeah, I, I, yeah I know a guy, me. <laughs> and so uh, that was kind of how it started and we just started corresponding back and forth. and. Um, it was something that you know we put together and uh, obviously he felt confident in uh, getting me to come over and then obviously speaking with my wife and kids and they were ecstatic at the opportunity and and so we just went ahead and we said yeah you know what we're going to do it and um, so happy that we made that decision and I'm blessed that uh, Davo had enough confidence in me to bring me over as the manager. Well it's all paid off in, the, in handsomely to thank, date. Thank goodness. <laughs> now back in the states you manage, uh, sorry you're the pitching coach for uh, high A uh, the Mavericks, the High Desert Mavericks, is that correct? Yes, I was, uh, last year that's where I was at in the California League. Uh, this year I'll be in the Texas League with our double A team in Frisco, Texas. Nice. So um, uh, I guess moved up a rank there and uh, the Rangers have been, uh, the organization has been unbelievable there taking care of myself and the family and, and now them giving me an opportunity to go to our double A team and uh, work there with uh, some of our pitchers that are, um, you know, they're on the edge of getting to the big leagues and so I'm um, super excited about that. And, Actually, when I get home, I think I'm getting home to 10th, and I get back on a plane to 16th to go to uh, Arizona. So I got five days at home, and I better make the best of them. Wow, absolutely. No rest for the wicked, they say, mate. No rest for the wicked. So it must be exciting for you, and obviously you've got a couple of guys here with the Texas organization, obviously Travis Demerit, uh, Dallas Gallant. So you get to obviously come down with those guys. So you have some really good stories to tell when you get back home. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they, they can't hide anything from me. And, <laughs> and actually, both of them, they, they uh, Dallas for sure, uh, should be with me in Frisco with our double-A team and um, Travis hopefully he'll have an opportunity to make that team out of spring training um, when he goes there so but yeah it's been nice to watch them and then also we had uh, Chris Dula here for a little while and ran into a little bit of pro problems with his elbow and we just felt it best to get him back and get it evaluated and he's fine he just needed rest but um, yeah definitely got plenty of stories to tell to all the all the Texas Rangers when we get back about uh, how fun it was. Well let's hope uh, this weekend you can have some really good stories to tell after you're up in Brisbane. Okay, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you, you had a 1-7 and seven start, which was pretty rough. You played some good ball, but things didn't sort of pan out well with the bullpen. But you've come back now after 1-7. and seven in the championship series it must be a massive feather in your cap must feel really good about the way things are going it is and and not going to lie there was probably people here around adelaide that probably doubted you know what we could do after that start but it's like you said we lost seven ball games by seven runs total and we got walked off four times and you know it was a couple different things in the bullpen you know but now that's baseball and but the thing i just kept uh stressing to our guys is that you know, we were two weeks away the way the league set up um you get to play the team that you need to chase and another team's losing on the other side. So I told him, you know, I said, we're two weeks away. We're playing good baseball and that's all we have to do. And I think the guys have bought into it very well this year. And I don't, uh, I don't put emphasis on wins and losses. Um, my emphasis is on how we play the game correctly and the job that we're doing while we're on the baseball field. And if you're doing those things, it's going to pan out. You know, eventually you're going to win ball games if you're playing it right, respecting the game. And that's what the guys have done. And we started picking up wins and we pick up some more wins, win a series, split a series, win a series. And um, then we got it down to you know, Canberra that last weekend and we needed to win one game instead of three. And so that was, uh, in that aspect, that was positive. And we actually ended up winning the series, but getting that first win and getting into the playoffs. And um, I never had a doubt in my mind with the group that we had. There was no doubt in my mind that we could do what it takes uh, to get back to this championship game uh, series. And I talked to the guys right here in West Beach the first day I got here and I told them that our goal was to win the last game of the season. And if you win the last game of the season, you're a champion. And so that's what we're trying to do even now. And 
we've got two more wins to, to get that done. Fantastic. Now, before we talk about last week's series in Canberra, um, I guess early in the season, probably your biggest issue was the bullpen. You struggled a bit sort of getting to the, the end of the bullpen. Kursky was very good. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you brought Van Mill on board, but sort of getting from the starters to the closing guys was a little bit of an issue. Right now, I think you've shored that bullpen up. Obviously, you've got Lee from the left, uh, Ito's in there, Van Mill, and then Kursky. You must feel really good about that side of the game now. Yeah, we do. And um, uh, Comer, the guy that we had over here earlier, um, I think he was having issues before he ever got here. Yeah. And so that kind of threw a wrench in that. But I watched that kid pitch all summer long, and uh, he stuck it up our behind yeah. in the California League. I can tell you that. So um, that, was a, that was a small hiccup. But... Um, Definitely adding Van Mill into that closing role where we have two guys that can finish it and then now having Lee, Ito, and Gallant that's went back into the bullpen and he's been throwing the ball outstanding the last three or four weeks out of the pen. And um, and then we got, you know, we got Matty Williams that'll be a long guy. And uh, we also got, you know, we got Wilson Lee and he's not a sleeper guy neither. I know he's been out there at first base. I've been trying to keep that bat in our lineup, but yep. he can still come in and especially with the left-handers that are Brisbane. I've already talked to him about if we have to add and track take you out or whatever we're going to do whatever we have to do if we need to use him but um the starters i mean having four aussie starters um the last three or four That's weeks awesome. it is i mean we love it you know and um i know you're going to talk about the the assist the the camber series uh this past weekend but that uh that thing came back to bite them hard in yeah, that yeah. last game i tell you but um but we're super excited and the, the whole time when I came over here, I told David that was my main objective was to put the Australian talent on display. And I feel like um, us as an organization with the Adelaide Bite, we have done that very well. And I mean, even from the young kids, I mean, we've had we Pickard started, you know, seven, eight games for us yeah, as yeah. an 18-year-old. Yep. And um, Horn started two or three games for us as an 18-year-old. And, and we're happy that we're able to do that. And a couple people looked at me kind of crazy when I did some <laughs> of it, you know. But, but that's the way I look at it. I mean, those guys, and if they get the chance to go to college, I mean, in two or three years, they need to be the guys here in South Australia to be helping the Adelaide Bite win. Absolutely. And so they have to play. There's only one way to get better, and that's to get out there and play. And um, I mean, Corey Line and Connor O'Gorman and what Chambers has been able to do here with us this year. And then you got your old guys, Brycey and Welch and, 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 and Roger, you know, and, and that's what you want. This is the Australian yeah. Baseball League. And yes, you want the imports in to improve some things, but the Australian talent is what you want to put on the forefront. And, and I feel like we've done that very well. You certainly have, and in fact, it's been pretty exciting, I think, for the local fans to see the guys they've seen sort of playing over the years, doing a really good job of intermix with those guys, the imports that have been sensational. You, you touched on a point before when you spoke about Wilson Lee and a couple of blokes. You've, you've really got a lot of versatility in this team, and it was probably forced on you a little bit when um, you lost... Uh, Cowan. Cowan. Uh, Jordan Cowan. Yep. So Jordan Cowan got hurt early and he was playing very well yes, for you. And then you've had to mix it up. You've obviously had Mark Wick playing everywhere. You know, third base, second base in the outfield. You've had uh, Kyle Petty, who's a very big unit, playing center field. Yep. You know, he's played center field, first base, around the place. You've moved for Travis Demerit, shortstop, second base. You've sort of had interchangeable parts, but it's been a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a lot of fun things to watch, but the camera can't get all that. But um, thanks, Mark. But no, it's been uh, <laughs> the team that we've had. You're right. I've a lot of versatility that I can use people in and out. Um, and it helps, you know, uh, Petty being able to go out there and play center field and being able to put Wilson Lee at first and uh, and, and use his bat. And then Mark Wick can play anywhere. And, and the biggest, biggest thing for us over the last five or six weeks is the shortstop that Travis Demerit's been able to play. And um, that, because you can't, it's like I told him, we were trying to fill in at shortstop. And I don't care where you're at, you have got to have a shortstop. You can't have yep. a fill in. That's not a fill in position. Yep. And so um, the job that he's been able to do for us down the stretch has been huge and and then the other people I mean I can put I can put uh, Brycey at first base I can stick him in right field and it it just gives me a, a if we're in a, in a game and I want a pinch hit you know I've got options to be able to switch people around and do whatever we need to do and still feel confident that we've got a defensive uh, team out there that can catch the ball and throw it and um, and hey, hey even at the worst I can pinch hit Talbot and he'll hit a home, he'll hit a pinch yeah, hit home yeah, run you yeah, know yeah, so yeah, yeah, so we, we got that it's going nice for us. <laughs> That's right. Well, when it's 18 to 2, you can do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, well, exactly, exactly. I was there that night. That was crazy. It I was, was about 10 beers in in the Shark Tank that night. It was fantastic. That was I took my uh, 
all my friends from work and they thought this baseball's all right there's just balls flying in everywhere that was a fun <laughs> night no doubt no doubt speaking of travis Dameron, i mean he's red hot he's absolutely seen nothing like it for a while uh the last series he just smashed everything yeah, he did. I mean, he's got, I mean, the last seven games he's hit eight home runs. Yeah. And um, it, uh, it's looking good. He's swinging the bat. He's aggressive at the plate, which is what I've been harping on him all year long. But I think he's finally, you know, I'm tired of hitting 0-2. And so he's being aggressive at the plate, and um, and he's not missing his pitches. Yeah. That's another thing, too. You can swing all you want, but you still got to square the baseball up. But um, he obviously, I mean, the last two series has been uh, ginormous for us. And um, we've got to get three more games out of him doing that, and I, I think we'll be okay. But in pretty good shape if he does that. Yeah, if, if he can hit four home runs this weekend, I like our chances. Yeah, so. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, I had to ask you, uh, you've had the rotation sort of mixed up a little bit. You've had some imports early in the season and then sort of stabilised as you come to the end of the season. Uh, Matty Williams was doing a pretty reasonable job and then you moved uh, Nick Talbot into that sort of third starter role. Mm -hmm. A few of us thought, wow, I'm pretty surprised that Matty Williams was out of there. Both guys are big game pitchers. I mean, we've seen Nick Talbot here in the local league just lights out in the big games. Matty Williams in the big games as well. What was the thinking behind that move? Um, well, to start with, I mean, we actually we switched our rotation chambers through the first game of every series for probably 14 and, weeks. Yep. And, um, and when I got to thinking about it, I was looking and I, obviously it all falls on me because I'm the last guy that writes the stuff down on the lineup <laughs> but I actually asked a couple people and I just felt with the left handers that uh, Canberra had in their lineup and playing at our place um, I just felt like we toes gave us the best chance to win that first game with that lineup Absolutely. and um, and then you take the ballparks into consideration and um, not that Chambers was couldn't have done the job, but that's I just felt like that's what we needed to do, and and so I did, and it panned out. I mean, Tozzi gave us a great start. Um, Chambers gave us an awesome start over there. He had the, the two two out runs that he had in the fifth inning was all that they got off of him. Yep. And then with Talbot, um, I said the same thing. I mean, him and Matty, they can pitch the big games, and I even told Talbot, I said I'm putting you third because that's going to be a deciding game if we get to it. But the thing about Matty is that Matty can pitch the big games, but also I can throw him every day. Yeah, exactly. I can pitch him out of the yeah. pen on any day. And then um, with the with us uh, starting the Aussies, um, we have to make sure that we have coverage to at least get through five innings because the way that it's set up, we have yeah, to do that. Exactly. So, um, and that allows us some uh, uh, leeway there also but um, I would have no problem starting any one of the four in any game and we just you know as a manager you just try to figure out what's going to be the best matchup to give it and and then now going into Brisbane they've not faced holes they've not faced him out of a starting role really good point yep. so we got him going game one against a team that hasn't seen him pitch like that so um, I, I took that into consideration when I moved to rotation two that uh, that we were going to make it to Brisbane and that he'd be pitching that first game and they hadn't seen him so um, yeah, I kind of take everything into consideration I, I, I'm not one I, I, I don't like you talk to these guys I, tell you, I don't sleep you know I don't <laughs> yeah, 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 sleep so um, but I, I took everything into consideration and I just felt like that that was going to give us the best chance to win both series yeah Tolsey's been been unbelievable like come even when he was throwing in the pen he's been good for a long time but uh, every start he's given you a quality start he's been amazing I, I think he's five and oh since we put him yeah, in that ro is. in that yeah, in that rotation role yeah. and um I think he I mean he stepped right up when I asked him about it and you talked about you know starting this one and that one and during the course of the season I've done it I, I would start this one and start that one because I wanted to see went to when we got to this part of the season and then um, coming down into this thing I was like I want to I want to see Tozzi start some games and see what he can do and I mean he went out there and threw six shut out the first Amazing. time and the next yep. time and I was like okay Just you're rolling yeah I'm like you're staying rolling, yeah. you want yourself <laughs> so, a job but you do you, you uh, when you got a team and I mean no I know it's only a 56 game season but still you know you got time and uh, to be able to look at stuff and then I even went and watched him throw a club ball start and and I was confident that he could do it, and um, uh, it not surprised, but it, a very warm welcome to what he's been able to do his last five stars. Yeah, agreed. Just looking at you guys uh, over the course of the season, I mean, it's obviously easy to say when you're playing really good baseball and winning games, but the guys look really comfortable in their own skins at the moment. It's the sort of most, the loose, they're loose, but they're enjoying themselves. I mean, that's a big part of it, isn't it? Getting the guys together, the long season, by the time you get to the back end of the season, if they're all working together, things work well. It is, and I was actually, uh, it's funny you say that, I was talking to Davo the other day and um, watching some of the other teams, and, and not to badmouth other teams, but it just seems like our squad, the way that the imports and the Aussies have come together, I mean, it's been 
uh, unbelievable. They, the thing I've stressed most the whole time I've been here is having fun, and, and these guys do not lack having fun, I can tell you yeah. that. And um, But the way our uh, the, the Aussies and the imports have just locked up, I even told a guy on the radio last night, I'm like, I don't know what Nick Talbot and uh, Wick's going to do when they have to leave one another. I said, they're going to they're, they're <laughs> gonna, uh, have, uh, have some anxiety, you know, when they leave. But it, it's great to see, and that's what you want when you come over here. It's a team. It, it, Aussies, Americans, Koreans, Japan. It, it don't yeah. matter. You know, we're a squad, and, and we're all right now, we're on the same side of the road, and we're pulling just as hard as we can. And Eyes are on the prize. That's, that's what we want, and I think the guys, they're loose. I don't anticipate. These guys being nervous is not even a question in my mind. They'll, they'll be having a great time, and win or lose, we, we're going to fight to the end. That's what we like to hear. Just finally, before we wrap it up, going into Brisbane, they're 26 and 5 at home, I think. Pretty daunting task. What do you do? To when you're facing a team like that that's playing so well at home, you just do your own thing and hope things fall the right way. That's it. I mean, you can't you can't look at that. 26 and five. Um, that's a great home record. But you know what? There, there's three games we got to win too, yeah. and it don't matter if it's here or there or wherever. Um, you can throw everything uh, that's went on for 56 games. You can throw it out the window. And now, it's, it comes down to execution. If uh, our starters can execute and get us into the ball game, where we can score some runs. To get it to our bullpen, we got a chance to win. If we don't, uh, they'll have a chance to win, and they they understand that too. They got a they got a great baseball man over there running yeah, their no ship doubt, too. No doubt. He's been you know, a bit. yes he has, <laughs> and uh, so they understand that this this is an execution uh, uh, series. That's all it is. When you get to the World Absolutely. Series in the big leagues, that's all it is. If 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 your starting pitcher don't give you a chance, you're gonna lose. And uh, little league, big leagues, it doesn't matter. And so we understand that, and I'll I'll put our I'll put our starting nine lineup against anybody in this league and uh, I'll take our starting pitchers uh, and, and see what we can do. So uh, just to wrap it up, 23 years, back in town, Mintz versus Nielsen. <laughs> I reckon one thing mate, I reckon if you take home the chocolates in Brisbane this weekend you'll get the keys to the city to take home with you. <laughs> so from maybe a hot corner and all of South Australia, we're all behind you. Best of luck Steve, bring it on home. I appreciate it, and I, I just want to thank everybody in Adelaide, South Australia, that has supported us all year long, and all the coverage and um, the the everything that's been brought to us. I, I am just humbled and, and more than blessed to everything that has taken place, and um, I, j I hope we can bring it home for them. I just hope we can bring it home, and just for them to know that we're going to do everything in our power to do that. We'll be right behind you. Thanks again so much for being on ABL Hot Corner. Stephen Mintz, manager of the Adelaide Bite. Welcome back here. I'm joined here by bike pitcher Nick Talbot, who's having a, a superb season in his return back to the ABL. How are you, Nick? Good, mate. Good. Good, thanks. And uh, and pretty pumped, I would imagine. Um, championship series, as I say, in your first season back in the uh, in the ABL. What's the uh, what's the feeling like around the guys? Fantastic, mate. Uh, yeah, everyone's having a good time. Everyone's really gelled. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> having a, we're having a great time. Um, a lot of guys, have, uh, especially the core SABL guys, we've, mm -hmm. we've always been uh, a tight knit group. But it's good to um, chuck a few, uh, chuck a few of the overseas guys um, in the mix, and, and we've, you know, we're we're hot at the right time of the year, and we're all having good fun. So yeah, well, I guess um, going on with that, both yourself and um, and Josh Tolls in the starting rotation at the moment, two local Adelaide guys, um, spent a lot of time playing in the local league um, over the years. Uh, very familiar with all the fans here in Adelaide. Um, obviously, a big thrill for you, especially. Especially last weekend, uh, winning that home, winning that Friday night game, that must have been huge. Oh, it was fantastic. Tolsey, Tolsey had an unbelievable start. We were talking about it in the uh, in the change rooms after the game. Um, you know, battling the rain and and uh, you know trying to get that win on the board, not knowing whether we were going to play um, on Saturday due to the weather in Canberra. So um, it was really important for us to to get that win on the board, and it was uh, you know it was fitting for Tolsey, the informed pitcher, to go out and get it done. It was great. Yeah, and then flipping over to the Canberra game on the Sunday where you got the game three start, uh, must. Have been a big thrill for you. Fantastic, mate. It was, uh, yeah, it's been something I've, uh, I've worked hard towards to uh, get back in the starting rotation. And, um, you know, before the game, a lot of the guys went into the rooms and I just kind of sat out in the field and sucked it, uh, you know, soaked it all in and, mm -hmm. um, and try not to get too nervous. But uh, once you get out in the mound, it's just like any other game. And uh, fortunately, we made the plays and, um, and away we go into the, in the grand final. Beautiful. Now, on a, on a personal note, here in the local league, uh, multi Caps medal or MVP for those not familiar with the SABL Caps medal winner. How many have you got at them now? 
Uh, three, mate. Three, just just a lazy yeah. trifecta. Um, now you apply your trade here as a as a two way guy, as a uh, as both a well, infielder, I suppose, more from the knot as well as a pitcher. Um, now you must admit, surely as as much as you've had a great season on the hill, the highlight of the year was hitting a home run. Uh, oh, it was definitely it was definitely uh, good fun doing it. Uh, but uh, it was quite funny how it happened. I um, decided to be a bit funny and stand in front of Vincey with a bat and see what he'd say, and uh, it pulled off. And I don't think anyone could believe it, but uh, even <laughs> myself. But um, nah, I'd have to say uh, getting getting a starting gig and really really learning my craft as a pitcher has been mean my highlight. Being able to come up um, from club ball and and uh, you know fit in and, and you know put up some zeros has been a, one of my goals for the year. And um, you know at the pointy end of the season, it's um, starting to pay off. So. Yeah, excellent. Well, what what's the thing that got you out here again this year? You've been, like I say, you've been tearing it up in the local league for years now. You have, you had a taste of ABL uh, a few years back. What what brought you back out here as a as more of a veteran a veteran presence? Um, I, I kind of, to be honest, it feels like a bit of a rookie year. To be honest, um, you know, having a having a, an impact on the team as far as uh, being on the hill and, and not just coming out of the pen in a blowout or or you know filling a spot in the outfield. Um, it's good to be up here and and you know really having a crack and and being semi-successful. Um, I had to uh, spend some time off with work and work commitments, um, which was which was tough. But uh, and special. Well, the, the bite don't pay you enough to to, uh, to give it up and do it full time. Unfortunately, Davo's not. not looking after no, you. No, no, we do it for the love, and that that's the honest truth. Because uh, otherwise, we wouldn't do it. But uh, no, it's. Um, yeah, Davo rang me uh, a couple of days before the first series and, and asked if I needed a start or if I wanted to start and uh, had a chat with the boss and, and everyone else and uh, I jumped at the opportunity and um, I thought it was just for that week and, and Davo kind of pulled a pulled a bluff and told me it was wasn't for the week it was for the year so um, so and you know what I'm, I'll be eternally grateful for uh, for that phone call so I'm having a great time. No, that's awesome. Well, I'll tell you what from a from a local standpoint it, as much as you love seeing the guys come from overseas and and the potential superstars of baseball making the majors um, nothing better really than seeing a, a great a great contingent of local players doing well in the team so it's uh, it's great to have like I say yourself Tolsey Brycey as much as he tries to put off our interview we're going to trudge through it um, great to have those guys on board so. Um, Good luck on the weekend, mate. Thanks, mate. Appreciate oh, oh, it. Hang on. Now say it. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, all, all, all the best up north, and um, hope you can bring home the chocolates for the, for the bite fans. Me too, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Go get back to training, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, mate.